Buckle up and drive safely from the Oxmoor Auto Group Traffic Center. I'm Mike Marshall with Beat the Traffic. Mike, I know you like the bracketology cake. You're going to love what we have next. Basketball sliders for your game watching parties this weekend. Janine Washley is here to show us how to do these really clever things. And you say they're very easy to do. Very easy okay. to do with things that you can just buy at the grocery store. And that's another thing. I tried to um, actually go to Michael's and to Kroger and other stores so that um, I'm getting things to, you know, to make these items that is accessible that to find. everyone. Okay. So everybody can find flour tortillas and corn tortillas. You just use a cookie, a biscuit cutter, cut okay. out your rounds, and you can get uh, seven rounds out of a flour tortilla. So you can get 70 chips, just to give you an idea, and you can um, decorate them. So you're going to you bake your own. At, yes, you, okay. you, you can bake your own, and you use the spray that we showed earlier just to spray down your tortilla. It'll look like Make that. Make it orange. Okay. Yes, and then um, you paint on the details, and it really almost sounds like a craft segment, doesn't it? I We've know. got markers and paint and spray, so but it's so... How do you so, put markers on food? Well, these are food-grade markers made by Wilton, food so it, the food okay. coloring is actually in a pen form, so... Neat. You know, okay. so that's how you do it. So these, so you see the buns, really you know, are kind of, oh yeah, the, the chips, and look, they actually puff, they up, puff up, so you get bit. like so a little dimension like a little to it. Yes. And then on your hummus over there, uh -huh. what did you use to make um, the I just the used uh, cream cheese and black, uh, the black, black gel food paste. Color. Okay, mm -hmm. all yes. right. Now, when we want to do the little burgers to make them look like basketballs. Uh, yes, now I was looking at these and I thought, well, that looks like a basketball, but the color's not right. What am I going to do? So I thought, if I take the gel paste, which is a little bit more concentrated, and you just take your pastry brush, just dip it in lightly. You don't want to get it too wet, and then you just brush it on and you get the color. And, and this then, gel paste you can find at like a Michael's or Exactly. Okay. Michael's has both of these colors. I was just uh, in there on Saturday, at least in the E-Town one. And then you get this, and it takes just a few minutes to dry. Okay. And then you actually do have to use your brush and your uh, gel paste, your black gel, gel paste. And then you just put your basketball marks on to give it, you know. Do I need so, the water at all? Um, a little bit of water because the gel paste won't dry in the oven without a little bit of water okay. to help it. And you just just make a, this is, this is my depiction, I just make a line across, I like to have a little action, and then I um, make a smaller line this way, and then come across a little bit more, like towards the middle and come around, and then we've got that basketball bouncing, and I come the opposite direction. That is so cute. Oh, I like that too. I, love it. I like that. And then you did the same thing with the cheese. You just yes. cut, I guess you use the same biscuit cutter. Yes, cut the same the, biscuit cutter. Cut the cheese. I know. You're going to laugh. I, I was They're already saying that one. one. I actually, here's the trick to get this the size of the sliders, the meat. I pat it out into a rectangle and I use the biscuit cutter on the meat. Okay, so, so it, everything's everything be the right is size. perfect. And then um, you put these into the oven for five minutes. That sets the color, and that way they're, they're not soggy and you have a nice toasty bun. That is really cute. And then, of course, we've got like little mini pizzas over there. And yes. you say, if you're going to do some sort of thing like this, mm -hmm. don't do everything as a theme because nobody will notice it. Exactly. Maybe put some regular food out and then have your little sliders it as a sandwich. It'll make that a little bit more impactful. And the pizza rounds, I actually mixed all of the pizza ingredients together and then topped it. Kind of, It was kind of like a spread then. That mm -hmm. way it makes it easy to make mini pizzas for a crowd. Right. You keep so, that in the fridge if you need more. You exactly. Just throw on top and the then bread. you throw it on top, pop it in the Wonderful. oven for five minutes, you've got a home-baked pizza. Wonderful. Thank you, Janine. You're welcome. For all these clever ideas that Janine has shown us, including the Bracketology cake, go to WDRB.com. You'll be able to watch these two segments again. And if you email Janine, she'll email you back recipes and all these different ideas. You can find her um, on our website, WDRB.com. Thank you so much. You're welcome.